two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to guys the top 5 designs of the week, week number 33, and I want to say thank you guys so much for all submitting our portfolios and being a part of this whole entire series for 33 weeks, it really means a lot to me, and it's awesome to see how much people have grown, you know, the channel has grown and everything like that. So in this week's, we're actually going to have a few honorable mentions, I've never done this before, so I'm going to see how it actually goes, if you guys do like me putting these honorable mentions into the top 5, let me know in the comment section below. I really couldn't decide who to put in, so I kind of just put these in the honorable mention because they were really good and I really think they deserve the spot. So overall, let's get right into the top 5, and with the first honorable mention, we have Alternate Arts, and I'm not going to talk about this too much, but he did a Twitter header for Paradise TG, and uh, overall, man, this is a really sick style, and I really like how it all like pushes together. If there's two things I could have changed, it would have been the font choice and how the text was lined up. And also where that blue stroke glow on the right hand side of the logo, I thought it could have fit a little bit better being on the bottom left as if it was glowing off that bottom left hand stock. And also with that text, I feel like when you layered on, you know, all the Twitters and all like the, you know, designer for God and all that kind of stuff, when you layered it like that, I just felt like it looked a little bit too weird. It would have been better if you kept it a lot more simple and a lot less, you know, jam packed. But that's just my personal opinion. It does look good in another other way. But uh, overall, man, is really sick. I like how you had, you know, the subtle blue socks, you know, coming behind the logo and like the top corners and stuff like that. It was a really good idea. And uh, a little tip for you guys in your later on videos and designer jobs and stuff like that is when you're finding stocks to put into your headers, try to find the best quality stocks you have. I'm going to be talking about that a lot within this top five. But overall, man, really insane job. And thank you for submitting. So the second honorable mention, we have Deep Design. And he did a fully modeled wallpaper for Dare, which is kind of like a NASA, you know, command center idea. And overall, I really enjoyed this. That's why it's in the honorable mention. And basically, it was just a really like simplistic and really basic style, but it'll fit the whole entire thing perfectly. I thought it looked really, really good in how everything was spaced out, how it's very like grungy and it very, you know, follows like an old theme. I also hey, loved how you added the um, Dare logo in the back with the NASA kind of thing wrapping around of it. And overall, everything was done extremely well. The lighting you have on the top was really nice, and also how you have the glowing sign above the door. The posted board and everything like that was done extremely well, and how you have everything glowing. But uh, one thing that I could recommend for future, you know, renders and stuff like that is looking into like Octane Render and really high quality rendering things. I know a lot of computers can't really handle it, but if you can take the extra couple hours to render something out, it can really make your work really, really good. So overall, man, did an insane job. Same thing with you, alternated, and thank you guys for submitting. So let's get into the real top five with the fifth spot and we have it's kunzu who did a twitter header for doom and overall if you guys do not know who doom is he's a um a really really good editor also the owner of myth gaming and also the leader of obey but nonetheless he does really insane kind of trippy glowing you know colorful edits and i thought this you know followed his style perfectly it's not like really grungy and boring but it's very colorful and it's very popping out and uh, you did the text render very, very good, and also how you have the colors kind of split up between everything. I thought that I did a really good job, you know, bringing the eye together into the logo, and also kind of following the way he edits. If I could have done this, I would have toned down the inner shadow and the inner glow a little bit on these kind of um, rectangle stocks in the background, and also the kind of rainbow stock. I just felt like it was too much, and also that background, like, you know, I feel like it's looks like a tire it looks like rocks kind of placed around whatever that is if you could have toned that down just a little bit and maybe added different stocks other than these um, rgb split glass stocks that are broken apart it would have done it tremendously better and um last i want to talk about is these oil kind of styles that you have around the back of the text i feel like if you could have taken your time and maybe put them above the text just a little bit you know maybe wrapped it around you know a couple of things it would have done really really well I just feel like it looked a little bit too awkward, you know, just placing it behind the text and not worrying about the front. But overall, everything was done really, really nicely. I like how you have the colors kind of contrasting each other, going back and forth. Also, how you have everything kind of brought together in the middle. It was just done extremely well. The font choice was great. The color choice was even better. And um, overall, man, you got an 8.5, a fifth spot. And thank you for submitting. So the fourth spot, we have Jorn, and he did a Twitter header for an athletic company, and then we gave him a 9.0 on this one, and I want you guys to really look at this, and this is basically how 2D you know, styles are really perfected. And overall, he did a really insane job, you know, making sure that all these squares are very evenly spaced, they um, follow everything perfectly, and you know, if you guys have ever done this into your own work, it's very time consuming and it's very tedious doing over and over again i really had the most up utmost excuse me utmost respect for him for doing this but uh basically he did this and 
I really love how it just follows the whole gym style, how you have all these athletic people in the background, you know, from the company representing the clothing that you're going to be purchasing. Also, the font choice you used was really insane and really good. I like how it's not too big, it's not too small, and it really kind of fits the whole entire logo itself. Last I want to talk about is you added this little blue accent on the right hand side of the collection word on the right, and uh, I thought that was really good. It really, you know, was kind of clean and really didn't uh, take up too much space. And uh, what you did with this was just really insane. I also love how you added the kind of white style into this as well. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, there will be a link in the description. He made a really insane you know, white style. They are actually using it right now as I'm making this video. And, uh, you know, it's really cool how you can use this in multiple different ways. But overall, man, you did an insane job. A 9.0 fourth spot. And thank you for submitting. So the third spot, we have Prism Creates. And he did a Twitter header for Obey. I want to say it's Burke. And I gave him a 9.4 on this one. And overall, I'm really attracted to these kind of glowing styles. If you guys haven't been like seen. And uh, really insane, man. I really have, like, I have everything glowing and everything's like lighting up from it. I really enjoyed the bottom left hand stocks and the top right hand stocks of these kind of purple glowing things coming out and also these kind of um blue glowing in the background with like kind of different things happening. Also the particles were really done well. I like how you added them very subtly throughout the piece. It, you know, it just really brought the whole thing together. And uh, lastly, the kind of weird rectangles you added around the cell fi and carbon made, I thought that was extremely done well. I haven't seen that done, you know, a lot anyway, and uh, it's very subtle and it's very clean how you have it just come around and go back down into the distance and it doesn't really kind of fade out, but it kind of, you know, just disappears into the distance and uh, it's just really, really sick and I really enjoy that piece. And also how you have the logo kind of very bright, you know, compared to the background, it's very good, you know, it really made your eye go straight to that logo rather than anything else. But if I was doing this, I really wouldn't have pixelated that stock on the right hand side. I felt that looked a little bit too weird. It kind of took away from the quality of the actual, you know, stock itself. It's very, you know, looks like the quality was maybe either just brought above the pixels that it should have been. You know, it was very enlarged or, you know, it was just rendered out a different way. But overall, man, it just looks really insane. I would just look out for using more high quality stocks and stuff like that in my next future things. But overall, everything was done extremely well. I really like the whole entire thing, and you got yourself a third place and a 9.4. So the second spot, we have this insane header done by DMTZ in Waze. It was a dual header. I believe DMTZ did the Cinema 4D, and Waze did the Photoshop work. Overall, you got a 9.8 on this one, and it was just really insane pushing this all together. I thought this was one of the best, you know, dual modeling and Photoshop works I've seen in a while. And I like how it's just gold, that grungy, you know, gray, and also these white kind of asteroid stocks, you know, pushing around the piece, which was done extremely well. I want to talk about the um, focal points and the out of focus points. I like how you have the leaves in the bottom right, you know, just kind of the bottom right and top left, you know, very distant and very, you know, blurred out. It really makes your eye get drawn into passing that and going into deeper into the rings, into the logo itself. Also, how you had these kind of glowing rings and how everything, you know, the Lightroom you used was extremely done well. It's not too much. Everything flows really, really nicely together. And uh, that text on the left-hand side, the uh, Soar praises the designer for Soar Gaming. I thought those added extremely well. I feel like the font choices just matched everything perfectly. And also, I want to talk about the render itself. And I thought it was really, really nice how you added these kind of grungy, golden kind of feel around the logo and how you have the gray grunge stock on the actual logo itself um one thing i'm a little kind of weird about is that little hand looks like a hand render on top of the fp logo i wish you could have maybe popped that out a little bit more maybe a little bit more gold and have like a kind of border around it something that could have made it popped it out a little bit more because right now it just looks like it's really dirty and it's just kind of really blurry in my opinion it could just be my eyes i'm not wearing my glasses or anything but that's just how it looks to me but uh, overall, the leaves that you have falling around were just really nice additions, and also those white asteroids, of it, as I said before. And uh, overall, both of you did an insane job pushing it together. And uh, thank you guys for submitting this, and you guys got yourself a 9.8 in a second spot. So the first spot, we have Verse Designs, and I gave him a 10 on this piece, and I just thought it was just extremely well, you know, put together and done. And uh, the style is not, you know, overly done. It's not very, like, everyone's doing it, but he's doing it, and it's just really insane how everything flows together. I feel like the colors are just really nice, and the Lightroom he's using is just really perfect to put into the style. And uh, overall, I really loved everything about this, and I'm going to talk about the right-hand side and the left-hand side. I like how you added the logo kind of, like, placed and tilted a little bit and kind of placed downwards and also having the red in the front. I felt like that it matched everything perfectly, especially that it went with the um, Synergy logo in red and also the Synergy logo, the back of it. 
and uh, the blue looked really really well it contrasted the red perfectly and that kind of dark gray that you have on top of the logo was just extremely well I also like how you added the kind of logo very large in the background faded and basically no one really does that just puts in the background fades and leaves it alone people just want to add these crazy stocks they want to do this crazy lighting but overall you kept it really basic very very clean and overall meant it was just insane the synergy felony text and the portfolio text was just really insanely done as well i just feel like it matched everything perfectly maybe the color choice could have been toned down a little bit differently but overall man you did an insane job Get yourself a first spot and a total score of 10 and that's going to be it for this week's top five if you guys did enjoy it make sure to leave a thumbs up if we can break 100 likes that'd mean the world to me if you guys did like these honorable mentions on top of this top five let me know in the comment section below i can actually do these more often if you guys would really want me to lastly if you guys do want to submit your portfolio there's going to be a link in the description it's going to be a google's form link so hop over there throw your portfolio in there it's going to take like 10 seconds to do and you guys can be featured on my top five so other than that, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed my content. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and helping me grow this tremendous amount. And then all, I really hope you guys have a nice morning, day, or night wherever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in my later on videos. Peace out.